Greetings, Tantibus. I am ready. Do your worst. <laughs> Princess Luna's turning into Nightmare Moon! Again! <laughs> yeah, well, we've got the cure for that. Oops, I guess I'm too plump tuckered out to do this right. I even went to bed early last night, but then I had a really scary nightmare. Me too! Yeah, only, you know, I didn't think mine was that scary. Well, mine sure was. There was this blue smoke monster and... What? I dreamt about a blue smoke thingy, too. Me, Me too. too! So what? Probably just a coincidence. That's an awfully big coincidence. Huh. I wonder why I didn't have that nightmare. I slept great! So then, what could have given us all the same nightmare? I don't know, but I do know who might. Spike, could you send a scroll to Princess Luna? Sure. I'll set. Dear Princess Luna, last night my friends and I all dreamt of a creature made of blue smoke. I'm sure you're very busy, but uh, when you have the chance, please let me know if you have any idea what it could mean. Yours, uh, Princess Twilight Sparkle. You can leave out the yawns. Which of you saw the creature of blue smoke in your nightmare? Wow, that was fast. We all did. Not me! Ugh, we, we know. know! So you've encountered the smoke monster too? The Tantibus is a creature of my nightmares. It escaped from my slumbers yesterday. But how did it get into ours? The Tantibus is like a parasite. My dreams must no longer be enough for it. Now it seeks others to infect and corrupt. It must have learned of you six from seeing you in my dream. Whoa, whoa, whoa. So what you're saying is, he dreamt about all of them and not me? The salt smoky gave us bad dreams. No biggie. I saw that the Tantipus had grown more powerful, but I did not realize that power was enough to enable it to escape my dreams. If its power grows, it could very well find a way to escape into the real world. It could turn all of Equestria into a living nightmare. Okay, 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 I take it back. That does sound bad. Really bad. We've prepared everything.
everything exactly as you requested. Good. As you six slumber here, I will pursue the creature into whichever of your dreams it infests. Woo! It'll be like a princess sleepover! Speaking of princesses, aren't you gonna ask Celestia for her help as well? There is nothing my sister can do. She has no power in the realm of sleep. Only I can move from dream to dream. I am afraid no pony can help me tonight. Even us? Especially you. You have all suffered so much because of me. You need only slumber while I hunt the tantabas in your dreams. I know you said no pony can help, but I'm no pony. I'm gonna stay up and watch over you guys just in case. Oh, thank you, Spike. <sighs> One good thing about not sleeping well last night. Shouldn't be too hard to fall asleep now. Are you kidding? This is so exciting, I don't know how I'm ever going to... suffer any more because of me. I will catch it. It has jumped into another dream. I am sorry, but if I am to stop it, I must follow it where you cannot. Go! I shall be able to handle things here. I hope... I followed the Tantabus here. Now I need only fine. Sorry, can't help it. An idea popped into my head and... Oh, cake! what I call an incredible dream. has already turned your slumbers into a nightmare. What are you talking about? This is my favorite drink. We are such happy flowers. We will now sing for hours. Aren't we unbearably cute? Watch me so low on jazz flute. Huh? 
So sorry, my friends. I failed. It will be back to infect your dreams the next time you sleep. Oh, no! Yeah, I reckon I could live without seeing that thing ever again. But you will. Again and again, every night, until it grows powerful enough to infect the waking world. After what I did as Nightmare Moon, the fact that I am once again responsible for harming others is more than I can bear. It'll be okay. Pony makes mistakes. As long as none of you dreamt about another pony, the Tantibus remains confined to your dreams. I still have a chance to catch it before it's too late. Phew, that's good to hear. Although after you left, I did happen to dream that I was eating a giant ice cream cone with the old pony bill while taking a test we hadn't studied for. See, what I tell ya, every pony makes mistakes. <laughs> But that means the Tantibus could be turning every dream in Ponyville into a nightmare! It is far worse than that. Infecting all those dreams gives it more and more power. Soon it will be able to escape into the real world and infect Equestria with its nightmare plague. Then you must let us help you stop it before that happens! But how? The Tantibus was able to escape Luna when it only had six dreams it could get to. It is true. With so many dreams to hide in, I do not know how I can catch it. Hmm. What if every pony in Ponyville were having one dream? I can create shared dreams, yes. But for so many ponies at once? I have never done anything like that. The amount of power it would take. Well, it is worth a try, isn't it? Of course. I will do anything to end this, including accept your help. I cannot allow the Tantibus to escape into the real world. All of you must now go back to sleep and hope but I can create such a dream. Familiar. Yep. Ponies! Princess Luna! There is no time for bowing, my friends. There is something coming. Something terrible. No. It is already here.
Antipas thing turns any more of this dream against us, we'll be too busy saving ponies to catch it. And it'll grow powerful enough to escape into the real world. How are we even gonna know when it's able to escape? Oh, I think we'll know. <laughs> Hurry, my friends! What the? Please, we need your help, too. Fluttershy's right. We've all got to work together to stop it from escaping. But how can we help? No pony in Ponyville has your magic or your speed. That's true. In Ponyville? But this here isn't Ponyville. It's a dream. Yep. And not just any. This is your dream. Anything you can do in your dreams, you can do now. Well, if you're gonna dream, might as well dream big, right? Exactly sure what she did. 
Luna created the Tantibus to punish herself. The worse she felt, the more power it had. But once she finally forgave herself for what Nightmare Moon did... Poof! Shh! Huh. Wonder what she's dreaming about now. <laughs>